As Pelang, I'm sure to cheap. Absolutely. FIFA 22 World Cup held in Qatar is definitely the tournament of surprises, or should I say, upsets. Who thought Japan will beat Germany and Spain with such ease in group stages? Oh, the Panthers are having a hard time dealing with uh, this Japanese team. Who's next on the firing line of Japan? My, my, my. Teams and Panthers are having a nightmare the moment Japan takes the field. Go short to cheap. Oh, it looks like we are also as Pelelanga here in the studio. Technically, it, technically, uh, it is showing me flames uh, this afternoon. <laughs> Life it seems to be following me uh, uh, today. Uh, like they say, there's always a first time for everything. Brazil lost the first time to an African team in the World Cup. Ketes of Cameroon, the indomitable Lions, led by their skipper Abu Baka. <laughs> Talking of first time for everything, with England taking on Senegal, the Lions of Taranga on the knockout stages, can England also lose for the first time to the African team in the World Cup? Only time will tell. All will be revealed tomorrow night. Kickoff is at 9 p.m. South African time when England take on the Lions of Taranga. Uh, Senegal, the African champions, let's hope uh, Af- uh, Senegal will do Africa proud and boot England out of the FIFA 22 World Cup. Like I said, it's always first time for everything. The top as Lions of Taranga Senegal will fly the African flag sky high. As Pelelanga, Gushota Iba Fanabafana, Go World Cup, Good World Cup, Qatar 22. I just wanted to see something. Organjan, Esh Bafana Bafana, near man. The less said, the better for now about Bafana Bafana. But I wonder if they were in the World Cup. I wonder how will the South Africans be feeling uh, with the, the performance of Bafana Bafana if 
they were representing South Africa in Qatar 2022. The way things are going, maybe, just maybe, Bafana Bafana would have pulled uh, also an upset, a surprise uh, win. Like we've seen most of the countries, they are pulling surprise win in this Qatar 2022. Uh, Saturday, the third uh, of uh, December, 2022. Oh, most people they say uh, November is the last month of the year. They say December is not a month; it is just a lifestyle. What is your take? <laughs> Do you believe uh, a, a year only consists of uh, 11 months? Definitely, December is not a month; it's just a, a, a lifestyle. <laughs> what is your take on that? With that being said and done, a very good afternoon and a warm welcome to every one of you wherever you are within South African borders. Ah, uh, we've got to cover. Don't you worry about that thing. All you have to do is sit back, relax, and allow us to entertain you. You are tuning into Sports Kick with Spona Longoba only on Nirvana World FM. Your beat, your music. You can always get in touch with us on our studio WhatsApp line number, which is 7 3 Our studio WhatsApp line number again is 7 3 TikTok and Facebook, we are there as Nirvana World FM. Thank you so much to my colleague, Mr. H, who brought us Hash Brown Express. That was between 8 and 10 o'clock. He was then followed by uh, DJ Poen, who brought us Teen Kids. He was in the ones and twos. Uh, Catch him again next week, uh, Saturday, between 10 and 11 o'clock. You and I, oh my word, <laughs> we are just together for the just few minutes, Nyana, because Ash, today we definitely ran uh, behind schedule. You know what they say, life uh, happened. Uh, most of uh, uh, the content that we're going to discuss, uh, the segments, that we're going to discuss, they might fall away uh, this afternoon because time is definitely uh, our biggest uh, enemy uh, this afternoon. But um, with that uh, being said and done, I will definitely try uh, to get hold of uh, Modiba Bid, our sports uh, analyst, and hear what he has to say in as far as uh, the FIFA 22 World Cup is concerned that is currently held at uh, Qatar, Qatar 22, because I will definitely won't be doing justice uh, to this show if we do not talk Qatar 2022. What's happening down in the Middle East. With a, uh, let's quick go for a breather and see if we can get hold of a Motiba Peter and see with, uh, with, so, uh, with uh, this uh, little time that we've got left and see how much can we get out of uh, Motiba Peter and hear what he has to say in as far as that. Uh, Qatar 2022 is a concern. Time now, it is uh, 29 minutes after 12 o'clock. And uh, if the weather means anything to you, uh, the mercury is sitting at 23 de- degrees Celsius and it is uh, mostly cloudy here in Johannesburg. How do you think about it? How do you think about it? How do you think about it? you
that is but to see them all the way from Eastern Cape Mkanduli that's where he is uh, based without uh, wasting too much town, uh, time let's get down uh, to the business of the day uh, I think we do have uh, our, our sports analyst Modi Bapita Modi Bapita are you there Baba? Oh, thank you very much, uh, Modeva. Our oh, time is our biggest enemy uh, this afternoon. We are so, so, so running behind the schedule. It's not even uh, fun. Uh, let's cut down uh, to the chase. Uh, group, stage, do, group stages are done and dusted. We've seen some, uh, surpri- some su- surprising results. Upset, uh, Minos beating big guns. Which game stood out uh, the most uh, for you, Modeva, so far? Uh, some of the teams coming into the party, the likes of uh, Japan. Surprisingly, they just finished uh, first on the log of the group stages, and uh, uh, it was so surprising. And uh, for me, they did absolutely well for themselves. So going forward, we're still going to see more, more, more of the things of, of teams coming into the picture, and uh, uh, also the African teams. Uh, Senegal, for me, they also did absolutely well for themselves. Uh, we when they lost their first match, I was a little, a little bit worried. I'm like, they are playing good football, but at the same time, things are not are not going well. But uh, surprisingly, they came in and won the two games is very crucial for them and yeah and going forward we have to see, we're going to see more and more of teams coming to the party oh absolutely i'm happy that uh, you mentioned uh, japan uh, uh topping their group sure, surely they are the surprise uh, package of uh, this tournament they've beaten the uh, two former uh, uh, world champions in the formanship of uh, spain and uh, germany surely uh, japan now the panthers are having a hard time everyone doesn't know what to expect the moment uh, japan takes the field whether it's the big guns or whatever that they're facing you just never know what uh, Japan, uh, are they going to pull on the day, Yamodiba? Surprisingly, as we spoke about Japan, I remember they beat Germany and also Spain, the two former uh, world champions, world cup champions. And if you look at how they beat the two teams, uh, they just came with a one super sub, but the first super sub that came against Germany came in with a goal, uh, scored the praise in that game, and also scored another goal in the game against Spain uh, as a sub and winning this, both the two encounters by two goals to one. So that showed that they really are showing that that is a surprise package for me that's going to cause more upset going forward. So, tactically, I think the coach is spot on and even when they try to defend their, their lead, they look absolutely fantastic. Ah, absolutely. Uh, then there's some big guns. Uh, they didn't make it uh, to the uh, knockout stages. We're talking about uh, the second ranked uh, team in the world. That is the uh, Belgium. Germany, they didn't make it. Uh, what is your take with uh, some uh, big guns not, met- not making it to the knockout uh, stages, uh, Motiva? I think uh, with Germany, the first game uh, where they lost it to the very same Japan, uh, it was so surprising. We never saw this one coming, and uh, they tried their best in the last game against Costa Rica. They were too bad. Uh, it wasn't to be. I think uh, the advantage for, 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 for Spain that they disrupted Germany from qualifying is good. It was because that they thrashed Costa Rica by seven goals to nil, and when the goal difference applied during that instance, uh, uh, it favored Spain, and this Germany was just unfortunate. I think they tried their best, but it wasn't to be. So, yeah, very interesting, and uh, uh, as we rightfully said, uh, uh, we're still going to see more, more, and more upsets going forward. Oh, absolutely. Uh, as uh, Africa, surely we had uh, five uh, representatives. Only two teams are still uh, left in the tournament. Three went home already. What's your take on how uh, African teams uh, fared uh, so far, Motiba? Remember, I said the uh, first time when the World Cup was about to start, I did say to you that uh, uh, out of the five teams, two teams will definitely make it to, to the to the knockout stages, but I didn't uh, specify which teams were. But surprisingly, Morocco and Senegal, they just came, they came to the party and very fantastic to see even Morocco finishing top on their log. So I think this is a team to beat for me. Uh, with Senegal, yes, they improved from their first game. Yes, they did have good signs when they played in that game where they lost. Uh, uh, as they, as they come to the second game against Qatar, they surprisingly thrust Qatar, and even in the third game, they won convincingly and qualifying for the knockout stages. I think uh, uh, the most interesting part again is that Alio Sisse, the, the, their coach, this is a coach that uh, remember in 2002 when Senegal were campaigning in the World Cup, yes. he was captain of the side. Yes, he was captain of the side, and they ended up. Uh, uh, going as far as the knockout stages is concerned, so it's good to see them doing absolutely well in the in the in the what, what you call in the knockout stages. So I wish they can improve from that to 2002 this time around to go as far as the quarterfinal is concerned. But uh, Morocco and Senegal, for me, they're definitely putting Africa on the map, and we are proud of them, and we'll definitely rally, rally behind them.
Uh, yes, uh, Cameroon, uh, they are not one of the teams that are make, that uh, are progressing to the knockout stages. But surely what happened uh, last night, uh, beating Brazil, for the, it was the first time that uh, Brazil lost to an African uh, team in the World Cup. Surely that cannot uh, be taken light. It's something that uh, we're uh, talking about, uh, Motiba. Uh, very surprising for me. I never gave them a chance when I was asked Nobody about did. The- Yes, I also never give them a chance, judging from how they lost their first game and also how they, they drew in the second game where they considered three goals, so pressure was on their side. So I think on that game, uh, if you look at the, the lock itself, so they were training by two points as we saw Brazil and Switzerland finishing both of six points and they, they were on four points. I think had they uh, had drawn against Switzerland in the first game, I think they would have qualified, but uh, unfortunately that was on their side. So uh, they just have to, they just uh, feel proud that they've become the, the former def- 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 the former champions, are the, the president, the former World Cup champions. So I think they'll they're very proud about that but uh, I think that unfold was when they were lost to Switzerland and uh, they won or won that game I think they would have qualified Oh, absolutely and then there is a big uh, talking point about uh, VAR what's your take on it uh, so far the way it's been interpreted used or lack uh, there of uh, Modiba Hey, the VAR is very questionable. If you can take it back <laughs> to the game between... <laughs> Your South African ref was also involved in the VAR drama. Exactly. If I can take it between the Qatar and the Quedo match, the other goal that was disallowed, very questionable because if you are a landsman, if you, you're not sure if a player is offside or not, I think you should give the benefit of the doubt to the Attican team. And then also uh, the, the, the game between Netherlands, I think they were playing uh, uh, then Ecuador, yes, they were playing Ecuador, where there was a goal with the player who touched the ball, he was in, a, in an off, onside position. But surprisingly, the, the VR revealed, revealed offside, very surprising because the other player wasn't in, interfering with play, he was offside but he didn't touch the ball. Very questionable for me, you look at the game against uh, between Japan and Spain. Uh, for me, the, the circumference of the ball crossed to the line for the ball to be a goal kick. But uh, unfortunately, Victor Gomes uh, he was instructed by the VAR uh, in the in the bathroom to, to to allow the goal to stand. So very questionable for me. It's been very questionable. I'm not happy with the way it's setting up things with the VAR. Oh, absolutely. Uh, with the uh, knockout stages uh, getting un- underway here uh, this afternoon, what can we expect uh, going forward with the results guaranteed now? No room for uh, for draw and, and everything, penalties and everything, penalty shootouts will definitely uh, become part of the equation. This afternoon, uh, knockout stages will see a uh, Netherlands uh, who will be led by former Manchester United uh, uh, manager Louis van Gaal. They take on United States of uh, America. What can we expect on that uh, encounter, uh, Modiba? Very interesting because both of them are coming on the back of a victory. Uh, you see, you look at the USA, they beat Netherlands, I mean, Iran 1-0, and then you also see Netherlands also, they won their match there uh, uh, to qualify. So it's going to be tough. I think they played, yes, uh, Ecuador, or uh, I remember Gakpo, uh, they scored a stunning goal in that game. Uh, and I think going into this match, so I think uh, I'll give it to Netherlands because they've been there before. So they want to prove a point. Although the first two matches were, con- were not convincing, they won by um, a, 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 a lack for them to score that close goal, those, those goals to qualify. So USA, yes, defensively, they're very disciplined. So I think it's going to be 50-50, but they should be a winner uh, by the looks of things. So I'll give it to Netherlands on this one. Uh, and then uh, that will be followed uh, by Lionel Messi and his uh, Argentina uh, side, uh, Argentina, when they take on Australia, the Soccer Rose. What can we expect uh, from that uh, encounter? I believe the kickoff is at 9 p.m. Uh, tonight. Yes, they're coming into this encounter on the back of a one nil victory against the Tunisia. This is the game that made Tunisia not to qualify. So you look at Argentina on the other side, I think Messi's been uh, fantastic for them. Although uh, people are saying it's not the Messi that we saw previously. So I think they'll want to, to, to prove a point. So I think uh, Australia should, 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 should cause an upset here. Yeah. So I think they, they did well, although they lost it to France. Remember, they were first 4-1 by France, but surprisingly, they're here in the knockout stages, so they the one to cause an upset. So I think it's going to be a tight game, but I'll give it to Australia to surprise Argentina, although ah. majority of fans are saying Argentina will go all the way to the final. So for this one, I'll give it to Australia, the, the underdogs of this wonderful World Cup. You're giving it to Australia? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you are very brave. <laughs> so I watched, I, I watched Argentina against uh, some of the, some of the other matches. So I think they relied too much on Messi. And if they can neutralize Messi, uh, they'll definitely stand a chance to win this one. Uh, Australians. But uh, Argentina are, are tipped uh, uh, to be one of the team uh, t- uh, teams that to lift uh, this uh, current World Cup. And now you give it to Australia. 
So, it, yes, I, I, so are you saying it's Hambakaya for Argentina tonight? I foresee an upset. So although, yes, they've kept two clean sheets in their two matches against Poland and the, what you call Mexico, winning both games at two goals and Messi was just key in those two games. So I think they'll want to close down Messi, although we know Messi's a star. Where form 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 is permanent. I mean, plus is permanent. So I think they want to neutralize me. So if they can just do that, they do spend the chance. They can even extend the game to extra time. But I still think they may cause an upset. They might cause an upset. Then uh, tomorrow afternoon at five o'clock, the defending champions France, led by Speedy and Tricky Kylian Mbappe, Mbappe take on Poland, led by uh, their little striker Le- Le- Robert Lewandowski. And the venue is Altima Mastidam. What can we expect uh, from that uh, clash, uh, Modim? I uh, remember Poland uh, just to Argentina, although I think the, the key thing was that they won the two games before the Argentinian encounter. So you look at uh, uh, the very same uh, uh, France, France, the first uh, one of the teams I remember for one day the, at the start of the, the, the very same group stage, Australia, yes. yes. So I think uh, France uh, spent a chance there. I'll give it to France for this one. So they were going to win this one. Although they lost to Tunis to Tunisia, I think they just uh, maybe they throw the put their foot of the title of the fact that uh, they've won the two first two matches. So the first two matches uh, have pushed them to qualify. So this time around, there's no way they might just relax or whatsoever. It's a knockout stage. A team to win here will definitely go to the quarterfinals. But I'll give it to the France. They from my World Cup champions. Remember, this is um, some of my teams that I say, I did say that one of the three teams, Brazil, Spain, and France, will go all the way to the final. Although Spain wasn't convincing in the last match, but let's wait and see. But this one against Poland, I'll give it to France. <clears throat> and then uh, tomorrow, the big one at uh, 9 p.m., especially from uh, the Africa's uh, perspective, England take on uh, Senegal, the Lions of Taranga, who will be fl- flying the African uh, flag. Uh, what is your take on that uh, big clash, uh, Motiva? I've been very impressed with Senegal, the way they are so stubborn, the way they are able to uh, attack oppositions. So I think, yes, England is a stronger side, so uh, it's going to be tough, for, although for, 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 for the Senegalese, but uh, I'll be running behind them. So I think they can cause an upset. I mean, from how I watch them play, they are capable of pressing oppositions very hard. So I'll definitely give it to Senegal for this one, although, yes, with, uh, England to have an upper hand, but uh, Senegal, I want them to improve from what they did previously in 2002 when they got to the knockout stages. And Unfortunately, uh, Golden Goal was the, the main factor that led them not to go far as far as the World Cup is concerned. But for this one, I foresee them to get in something into this one. Uh, but, uh, okay, I hear you, uh, you say you are giving it to Senegal. But bear in mind that uh, England, they never lost to an African uh, team in the World Cup, in the knockout stages. So do you expect uh, tomorrow it might be the first time uh, for everything? As we have seen uh, yesterday, uh, Cameroon beating, uh, 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 who is this, uh, uh, Brazil, Brazil losing to an African team for the first time ever in as far as uh, the World Cup is concerned. So do you uh, uh, expect the more of the same uh, tomorrow when uh, uh, the African champions, uh, Senegal, take on uh, England uh, tomorrow night? Uh, Modib? Anything in football is possible. So football is rolls. So as you know, they played the, I think one you know, of the matches, I remember they played goalless to, to USA, the from USA. So in this one, I think if Senegal can just uh, score first, so they, they will definitely spend the chance of going as far as the quarterfinals is concerned. So I still think they will improve from what they did previously. So yes, England are a good team, but anything in football is possible. So I'll be running this behind the alliance of Taranga. So they will cause an upset on this one. Absolutely. Uh, then on Monday, we see the giant killers of uh, Japan. They took on uh, Luka Modric and his uh, countryman, Croatia. And then uh, the second one uh, of the, uh, on Monday, uh, the Samba Boys, Brazil, they take on Korea Republic. What can we expect uh, on that uh, encounter, Modiva? Uh, with Brazil up against Korea Republic, uh, definitely Brazil will, 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 go, will go all the way to the quarterfinals. So uh, I think they just relaxed yesterday, although Cameroon has surprised them. So I foresee them getting something into this encounter. So with Croatia, let's not forget this is a team that played previously in the final of the previous World Cup where they, they lost to the very same France. So I, I think they'll want to improve from that. So uh, uh, for them, for this one, I'll, I'll definitely give it to Croatia. They are a good team to watch. I was very impressed with their display so they must improve from what they did previously and go as far as thinking the World Cup is concerned but it's not going to be easy uh, you are playing a, a good side and some of them are former uh, champions of this very same World Cup so yeah Croatia and, uh, and also that other side they are my team for me to win come Monday 
Uh, I, I, you are a really brave man. Uh, giving it uh, that uh, win uh, to Croatia with the uh, cons- considering what uh, Japan has done so far, beating Spain and uh, Germany, and uh, you still go on and say uh, uh, Japan they will lose against Croatia. You must be a very, very uh, brave uh, uh, person indeed, uh, Modiba. And then the last one on Tuesday, uh, Morocco from the African perspective, perspective, they will be flying the African uh, flag when they took on uh, Spain. The Tika Tika boys. What can we expect on the on that uh, last? Encounter on the knockout uh, statues, uh, Modiba. Morocco present Africa. They've won two games and drawn one. They are yet to lose a game. Spain, they just lost to the very same Japan. Japan, uh, I can just say that uh, they rely from an individual player that's a super sub and they play different football come from the first half going to the second half. This time around, I think they will be tested. Uh, and with Spain, uh, let's see how they have learned the lessons from the game against Japan where they were just flat in the second half. So I don't know what was going on as they played absolutely well in the first half and ended up scoring a goal. So against the Mor- Moroccan side, they're playing a world discipline side, so I also want Morocco to do absolutely well. And this is a team that came uh, uh, with a surprise, uh, reaching the knockout stages as it has been done before. So Spain, uh, I think uh, uh, the, the only advantage that could be were that 7 nil, but uh, they haven't done absolutely well up so far. This is a team I've noticed that they score first and they want to sit back. So I don't know why to what to the different while it's still early. So something they need to work on. They need to continue unsettling opposition when they get a chance. Unlike uh, scoring a goal and sit back. And with Morocco, uh, this is a team that they yet to consider goal in this wonderful uh, uh, World Cup. So I think they've been fantastic for me. So I so wish they can just cause an upset. Was this is a team that surprised the strongest uh, Belgium by two goals to nil going into the encounter. So I foresee the game maybe stretching to extra time as well. And one team might score into it. Absolutely. Next time. Yes, because Spain do have an upper hand into this one. But anything is in, in I'll give it to Spain for now because anything in football is possible. Uh, a goal will be scored from one of their mistakes. So one of the two sides will commit a mistake in order for them to consider goal. So uh, I'll go with Spain. Uh, Absolutely, Motiva. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Motiva, for your time. Time is definitely not on our side. But before I let you go, uh, I would like to put you in a corner. Uh, with the knockout stage, knockout stages are getting underway this afternoon. Which team you still believe uh, are the, the, they will end with the podium uh, finish? They will uh, lift the Qatar 2022 uh, World Cup. <laughs> I need an answer. Tell me. Yo, <laughs> it was a tough one to answer. Because, uh, <laughs> okay, okay let, let, let me be nice to you. Let me be yeah. easy on you. At least tell me two teams that you think will make it to the final before we get to the winner. At least two teams. I, I think I, I can't be uh, nice to you uh, than that. Tell me <laughs> Yo, I'll go with France and Brazil. <laughs> France and Brazil. <laughs> so you stick to your gun because most people, they believe that uh, Argentina, they will win the, the, uh, this year's uh, World Cup. So are you convinced that Argentina, you don't give them any chance. Uh, I don't give them a chance, but they'll go as far as the semi final is concerned. So I think they rely too much on Messi. Messi, if they can just give that button, too much button to Messi, they'll toss him down and he'll feel frustrated. Uh, if he thinks they shouldn't defend uh, and pack the bus because he's capable of exposing the bat, uh, he's a key player for them. But for me, I don't see them going to the final. I see the two sides, Brazil and the France, uh, in the final. So you say, you say it's going to be who? France and Brazil? Yes. France and Brazil, I've got that on record. <laughs> I've got that on record. <laughs> okay, thank you very much, Motiva. Time is definitely not on our side. Uh, we really appreciate uh, your time, uh, Motiva. Most definitely, and it was nice uh, to be on the show. Actually, last week I was so disappointed when the, the reception disrupted us, so, and we had a lot to talk about. And yeah, uh, let's see. I, I saw, for if I can come back home a bit, I saw uh, what you call uh, Marisco United unveiling three of the defenders. They want to boost their defense, as you know, Hotel Moleka, remember from King of Chiefs, yes. one of the signings that will be playing for the site. So, uh, Mohamed Hude from Malu from Student Bosch will also be playing for Marisco United. I think uh, Fadi David is to improve on what John Matuka did as the team tried to struggle to defend so well. They just leaked goal everywhere. Remember, in some of the matches, they lost 5 nil to Sundowns, uh, 2 nil to Golden Arrows, so they were just considering the goals left, right, and center. So they'll definitely maybe do better when the PSL resumes on the 31st of this month. And again, I can also alert the listeners that uh, the game between Mamelodi Sundowns and Orlando Pirates, uh, which are supposed to take place on the 31st, will take place on the 30th. Uh, and remember, it was said that uh, it was going to play on the 31st at half past five, but uh, it's been shifted to half past three in the afternoon uh, on the 30th, which is Friday afternoon. So I don't know, I'm not sure if it's because of the traveling uh, and this preparations of the preparing for the new year, but we'll have to wait and see.
good luck and uh, let's see how the World Cup will unfold going forward and we bet it's good afternoon to you and to the listeners. Thanks for having me. Uh, very good afternoon indeed, uh, Motiba. That was Motiba Peter talking to us. Uh, FIFA uh, World Cup Qatar 2022 and uh, a little bit of uh, local South African uh, um, uh, sports. Let's go for a breather. Definitely when we return, I will be... Uh, uh, saying my good, uh, my goodbyes. On that note, uh, let's take uh, all this new shoes. I can't wait. Baby, I, I can't wait.
That was Cubs of the Small featuring Young Stana. We started that double play with the new shoes giving us a I Can't Wait. I've just been given a green light by uh, my producer to, <laughs> to spend uh, more time in Yana with you guys. Uh, remember that uh, we started our show a bit uh, later. Some technicalities got better uh, of us. So my producer decided to be nice to me and said, okay, Spanella, you can spend some more time in Yana with the listener. Right. For a more beautiful note, contact Nirvana Sounds for your studio and live recordings. We engineer sound to perfection according to your specifications. We ensure crisp and clear audio video conversions and delight your function with sound, stage and lights for hire. Our quotes are pleasurable to the ear. Contact us now on 083-945-7664. Nirvana Sounds, powered by Gospel World FM. Looking to upgrade or repair your desktop or laptop? With over a decade's experience, TV Master specializes in software installations, data recovery, restores, PC rebuilds, and conversions from VHS to USB or DVD. For a no obligation quote, contact Pre on 011 855 6738 or 072 7706 TV Master, the name you can trust. Absolutely, TV Master, the name you can uh, trust. Uh, remember that uh, last week, in as far as the rugby is concerned, the Springboks, they were ending their uh, autumn uh, series uh, in style. They were scheduled to play uh, England out in uh, Twickenham, and we know how difficult can it be to get results in uh, Twickenham, especially following uh, the 25-all draw of uh, England against uh, New Zealand. Surely the English uh, Roses, they were motivated when they hosted uh, the All Blacks uh, last 
last week, but the, the spring pro, spring box uh, rather, but uh, it looked like uh, by the results, the spring box were more motivated than the host uh, team. They went on uh, to win uh, that game uh, by 25, uh, 27 rather, uh, to six. Well done uh, to the spring box. They ended uh, their tour in style. Our uh, 50 clerk had a stellar of uh, uh, a game uh, last week, and I uh, will remember that uh, unfortunately last week they also got another red card, but uh, that red card didn't uh, dampen the spirit of uh, the bog. Uh, they went on and uh, uh, beat uh, uh, England at home, and it doesn't happen all the time that uh, we see New Zealand, uh, England rather losing a game in Twickenham. That is their uh, traditional uh, slaughter uh, house. Fast forward uh, to uh, this weekend, we recall that uh, there are uh, seven uh, games that are underway. Uh, we look at uh, let's look at the results uh, of the games rather that are played uh, this morning. Uh, France seventh team. <coughs> Excuse me for that. They beat uh, Samoa by 24 uh, to 17. And then Uruguay, uh, they went on to beat uh, Great Britain by 26 points to 7. Argentina, seventh team, they beat, uh, no, let's uh, leave that one out. Uh, Kenya, uh, Kenya rather, they took on uh, Fiji, seventh team, uh, where Kenya lost to Fiji by 21 to 17 uh, points. Spain, oh, they thrashed Japan, listen to this, by 20. 28 to 0. <laughs> that is a threshing and a uh, and a half. And then uh, Canada, they took on uh, Uganda. Canada went on to win by 27 points to zero, beating Uganda. Come on, uh, Uganda, you can do better than this. And then close to home, our South African Bloodsburg, uh, they took on Samoa 7 team, which we know they are very, very uh, dangerous side. But the Bloodsburg, uh, they uh, represented South Africa pretty well. They beat Samoa 7 by 24 points to 19. And then uh, New Zealand, the All Blacks, they took on France, a uh, seventh team on oh, New Zealand. They went on and did what they do best. They beat France by 28 to 19. And then uh, Argentina, a uh, seventh team, they took on Ireland. Uh, Ireland uh, seems to be doing everything right in as far as uh, rugby is uh, concerned uh, this season. Even in the sevens uh, uh, setup, they went on and beat uh, Argentina inside by 19 uh, to uh, 14 uh, points. Uh, while uh, Japan uh, lost to Great Britain by uh, 5 to 45 uh, uh, points. Uh, Uruguay went on uh, to beat uh, Spain by uh, 24 to 12 uh, points. And as far as uh, the African uh, perspective is concerned, Kenya, they beat Canada by 17 to 7 points. Fiji went on to beat uh, uh, Uganda by 29 to 14 points points out. Oh, those other are seven games. Please do not confuse it with the FIFA World Cup that is currently uh, underway in Qatar where things are happening. Where about out of 8 billion population of uh, global population, 5 billion of uh, soccer fans, they are glued to that uh, Qatar 20 uh, World Cup that's underway in uh, Qatar FIFA 22 World Cup uh, focusing on that. But even though uh, Bafana Bafana is not uh, participating, we know uh, South African uh, football fans, they are so interested, they are so caught up in that uh, FIFA uh, 22 World Cup. Time now, it is five minutes after one o'clock. Johnny Clark, uh, take us away with Ebola late. This is so fitting considering what's happening down in the Middle East, uh, to be exact, Qatar 22. <laughs> Sibuzo bani, sibuzo bani ngatinda Ubano ngatinda tina, si shonge boda we mafana. Ubano ngatinda tina, si shonge boda we mafana. Si matu 
now going home to Africa. Where else will you uh, find such uh, two uh, uh, legends playing a uh, back to back? And we started that double play with uh, Johnny Clark giving us a ball alert. He was then followed by uh, PJ Powers home to Africa only on the Vanna World FM. That's why you will get to hear such legends uh, back to back. Oh, it's not every time you will get to uh, hear such legends playing uh, one after another, just like that, only Nevada World FM, your beat, your music, that's where you are at, which takes us straight to 14 minutes after uh, 1 o'clock, you can always get in touch with us on our studio WhatsApp line number, which is 7 3 our studio WhatsApp line number again is 7 3 and you are still tuning in to Sports Geek with Usmanelo Waganyo. Let's have a look at uh, United uh, Vodacom United Rugby Championship. Last night in Deben, Kings Park Stadium, Sharks fans expected a huge uh, response from their team against Wellside Ospreys following their dismal 35 to nothing dismal uh, by uh, dismissal rather by Cardiff at home last uh, Sunday, which saw the back of their former head coach Sean. Everett. But what they saw in the first half of their 25-10 win over Ospreys didn't inspire much confidence. That's the desired response. Welsh uh, heads on on Welsh heads on stake was fourth uh, coming indeed. They had possession but laboured to create something worthwhile on attack. Ospreys seemed happy to pack the bus and try to frustrate the South Africans into uh, making some stupid or high school uh, errors. Still last night, elsewhere, Edinburgh lost at home to, Man- to Manchester by 38 to 17 uh, points. Today's features sees uh, defending champions uh, Stormers uh, host Dragons at Nelson Mandela Bay Stadium in Port Elizabeth, East Eastern Cape. Yes, you heard me right. That game will not take place in Cape Town, but rather in Eastern Cape. Uh, still, uh, this afternoon, we'll see a Zebra welcome Glasgow Warriors. Uh, the venue is Stadio Sergio Lanfra. Lan Franchi. And then uh, Connach takes on Benetton uh, Rugby. The South African uh, franchise Vodacom Bulls welcome Cardiff Rugby Loft at the venue is Loftus Fersfeld uh, Stadium. Ulster visits Leinster and the venue is RDS Arena. That is out in uh, Ireland. Then tomorrow at Emirates Airlines Park Stadium, uh, aka Ellis Park. Yes, you and I, we know it as Ellis Park. We'll see Lions hosting Lionel uh, Scarlet. Absolutely. That's going to be a big one indeed. Let's hope uh, the, the South African franchises, uh, Stomas, uh, Blue Bulls, and uh, uh, Emirates Lions, they will do the country pr- proud and uh, go on and uh, win their uh, clashes uh, this uh, afternoon. Afternoon, which takes us to 17 minutes after uh, one o'clock. Uh, we're still tuning in to Spongebob Globe, which uh, when he brings you sports gig every Saturday between uh, 11 and uh, one o'clock. But today, uh, my producers they've been nice to me. They said, Spongebob, you deserve do you deserve some 30 uh, minutes bonus? And that's what I'm enjoying uh, right now. And I wasn't gonna uh, turn it down. By any chance. Gracias. 
Looking to upgrade or repair your desktop or laptop? With over a decade's experience, TV Master specializes in software installations, data recovery, restores, PC rebuilds, and conversions from VHS to USB or DVD. For no obligation quote, contact Pre on 011 855 6738 or 072 7706 796. TV Master, the name you can trust.
Ever heard a baby bellow at the top of its lungs in a public place? Far from your best music track, right? For a more beautiful note, contact Nirvana Sounds for your studio and live recordings. We engineer sound to perfection according to your specifications. We ensure crisp and clear audio video conversions and delight your function with sound, stage and lights for hire. Our quotes are pleasurable to the ear. Contact us now on 083-945-7664. Nirvana Sounds, powered by Gospel World FM. Uh, thank you so much uh, to that uh, double play uh, that we started with uh, the Heavy D crew who gave us uh, happiness. Uh, they were then followed by Glenn Lewis who gave us the mid tempo that was that takes us way back uh, to uh, year uh, 2000. It is the 3rd of December 2022. The year is definitely over. Let's hope uh, uh, you have achieved most of those uh, New Year's resolutions that, that uh, you took at the beginning of the year. Uh, even if uh, you didn't achieve uh, uh, most of them, the main thing is that you are still alive. That's what you should appreciate uh, uh, most because there's no substitute uh, uh, for life. For the fact that uh, you are still uh, hanging in there, there are most of uh, our family members, the friends, and everyone that didn't make it uh, uh, this far uh, throughout the year. But for the fact that you are still around, you should be uh, grateful uh, for that. Don't be too hard on yourself. Uh, don't forget, this is life. Don't forget to live it. Time now it is uh, 29 minutes after 1 o'clock. Uh, we recall that uh, last week the Spa Proteas, uh, they uh, won the Spa uh, the spa Diamond uh, Challenge where they beat uh, uh, Scotland. The tournament, uh, there was uh, our up north uh, neighbors uh, in uh, Zimbabwe and the president uh, 12 uh, who uh, came forth in that tournament with uh, the Zimbabwean, uh, who came forth on the tournament with Zimbabwean uh, gems coming third. Uh, we can say congratulations uh, in order for Spa Proteas. So while, t- while talking about uh, Spa Proteas, uh, don't forget that uh, come early uh, January they will be participating in a quad series uh, uh, tournament which is going to be very, very uh, tough indeed. It will uh, consist of uh, top four teams, obviously the top four ranked teams in the world. That will be Australia, New Zealand, England and South Africa. Definitely uh, South Africa will have find the going very, very uh, tough indeed, considering that uh, Australia will record that uh, they are number one in the world. New Zealand are number two in the world. Austra- uh, England, rather, they are ranked third in the world with uh, South Africa uh, closing those uh, world ranking. So, sh- so surely, uh, South Africa will be the lowest ranked team in this tournament. So they, they will be expected to be the whipping girls. Let's hope uh, Spa Proteas will stand up to those uh, highly ranked uh, teams and show them a thing or two, especially uh, against uh, England. Surely we can pull us uh, something against England. Australia or New Zealand, ah, we will see you. where does that take us. But we cannot afford to be uh, the whipping girls in this uh, tournament in that uh, quad series that will uh, take place come uh, January 2023. Uh, before we wrap up, uh, let's also have a look at uh, the SA20 cricket uh, tournament that will get uh, underway early uh, next year as well. So we're just uh, saying that just to get your sports uh, calendar for January sorted out. Uh, the SA20 uh, cricket uh, tournament will get underway. Yeah, uh, uh, we've seen the likes of. Uh, Quentin de Kock, uh, who will be playing uh, for the uh, Devon based uh, franchise. So that tournament is guaranteed to be a mouth watering one. Uh, in case you don't know what is Cricket SA20, uh, let me put it uh, in layman's term. It is the South African version of IPL. I think I've simplified that uh, enough. It's, it is definitely a uh, South African version of uh, uh, IP, uh, IPL. Uh, surely uh, that uh, tournament will set the scenes alight in as far as the cricket world is uh, concerned. Let's quick go for a breather. When we return, definitely I will be uh, signing off. Uh, let's see uh, who takes us away. Yeah. That is hard away. What is love? No more Baby, don't hurt me Don't hurt me No more What is love? Yeah, yeah. 
What is the love? That was the hard away. Thank you so much to that uh, legend. Uh, the song was a jam back in the days. I believe that was run about in the na- late uh, 90s, my 2000. Step over. Move aside. We are talking 90s music this time around. Talking of time, it is uh, 36 minutes after 1 o'clock. It is Saturday, the 3rd of uh, November, of December rather, 2022. Like they say, December is not a month. It is just a lifestyle. I wonder what is your take on that. So do you believe that, uh, yeah, only consists of 11 months. December is not a month. Like they say, it is just a lifestyle after all. Don't forget uh, this afternoon, uh, the knockout uh, games, uh, they get underway in as far as the FIFA 22 World Cup is concerned. Netherlands, they take on uh, US of A, that is United States of America. Then that they will be followed by uh, Lionel Messi and his uh, Argentina when they take on Australia, the soccer rules. And then tomorrow, uh, France, the defending champions, they will take on uh, Poland. That will be led by uh, Robert Lewandowski. And then the big one, in as far as the South African perspective is concerned, England, they take on the African champions, Senegal, the Lions of uh, Taranga. Rise, Africa, rise. Let's hope all the Africans, they will stand in unity and support uh, uh, Senegal because it is about time. Let's hope... uh, uh, Senegal, they will do uh, Africa proud. But even though history is not on our side, we'll remember that uh, England, they never lost to an African team in as far as the uh, World Cup is a uh, concern. But like they say, there's always first time for everything. Let's hope tomorrow night will be uh, that first time when England will lose uh, to an African team and we'll see uh, Senegal beating England and qualify all the way to the uh, quarterfinals. We wish Senegal all the best tomorrow night when they take on our England. Oh, it is the time of the show where I have to love and leave you. But as always, I leave you in the warm and capable hands of uh, my colleague Jacqueline Friedman, who will be bringing you money, 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 money. That is money works. That will be from now till uh, uh, 3 p.m. Surely you don't want to miss that for anything uh, in the world. Thank you so much for tolerating me or uh, for allowing me in your space. It means a lot to me. I do not take it for granted by uh, any. Uh, uh, choice. Uh, but uh, always uh, remember this. If you can dream it, you can live it. That's it from me, Sponelongovo. It is bye-bye. Let's do this once again next week, Saturday from 11 till 1 p.m. Definitely next week we'll be back to our normal uh, schedule. I'm done with the commitments that have been uh, distracting me for the past uh, eight weeks. Next week we are back to our normal uh, scheduling, 11 till 1 p.m. Thank you so much. It is adios. Bye bye. Ali nga lang muta ni sesu kuna di ba? Bye.